In this video, we'll look at the formal charge for each element here in PCL5. This is phosphorus pentachloride. So the first thing we need to do to calculate formal charge, we need to have a Lewis structure. So here's a Lewis structure, and when we calculate the formal charge, that'll help us determine whether this is the best or most favorable Lewis structure here for PCL5. You'll notice that phosphorus has one, two, three, four, five bonds, so it has 10 electrons around it. That's okay, phosphorus can have an expanded octet. So let's do phosphorus first. We have our phosphorus, and then phosphorus group 15 on the periodic table, also called 5A, five valence electrons, unbonded. All of the electrons around phosphorus, they're involved in chemical bonds. This line means there's two electrons shared between the phosphorus and the chlorine. So we don't have any unbonded electrons. Bonded electrons, though, we have two, four, six, eight, ten. So a total of ten electrons involved in the chemical bonds, and we'll divide that by two. So that's five. So five minus zero minus five, that gives us zero. So the formal charge on the phosphorus in PCL5 is zero. Let's do one of the chlorine atoms. They're all the same, so we just need to do one. So for chlorine, that's in group 17, sometimes called 7A, seven valence electrons. Unbonded, we have two, four, six. So six unbonded electrons. And then bonded, we have just the two here in the chemical bond, two over two. Seven minus six is one, two over two, that's one. So one minus one, zero. So for each chlorine here, we have a formal charge of zero. And having these formal charges all zero here, that tells us that this is a very favorable or likely Lewis structure for PCL5. This is Dr. B with the formal charge for each element here in PCL5, phosphorus pentachloride. Thanks for watching.